Hello friends and welcome to another figure study where we appreciate the form in Transformers or in this case in third party Transformer accessories. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Perfect Combiner PC-09 set from Perfect Effect. This is basically their hands and feet upgrade kit for Bruticus, but we're going to be using it on Victorion because at the moment, as of this recording, there have been no, there's been no word on any kind of um, official, not official, but you know, any other upgrade kits made specifically for Victorion. So I went ahead and got the perfect effect set because it's similar in color to Victorion's pack in hands and feet. And honestly, as much as I appreciate Hasbro doing the, this, you know, dedicated hands and feet thing, they're not great. The ankle tilts are limited, the feet aren't particularly grippy, and the hands are, you know, they're okay. But, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for the perfect effect combiner upgrades anyway, so figured why not let's try them with Victorion. So here we have the team all set up and if you're not familiar with the Perfect Effect upgrade kits, I've got, uh, I'll have a link to a couple of the other ones down below there, because I've done a few videos in the past. But they basically are hands and feet that turn into these large, in, these case, in this case, laser cannon looking things, which are pretty nice. And there's four of these in total because they combine to make feet. And then you also have the guns. Handguns, haha. -ha. I made that joke already, but I'm making it again. And here we've got uh, one possible configuration. And there's actually a second configuration that you can do with these new models here, where here you can see there's the grip that you bend down and you can use the thumb as like a scope, or you can leave the grip tucked in and use the thumb as a handle. So two different options. You know, whichever one, whichever one looks good to you, you, you've got choices. But each of those turns into a hand. Now, before I get into how everything looks in robot mode, just want to go over some of the things in uh, vehicle mode real quick. There's not a lot of storage options for these upgrades in vehicle mode, unfortunately. Power Magna does have some ports along the uh, the sides of the fire truck here like here and here and right here and those will accommodate oh, and right here and those will accommodate things like the guns and the cannons you can uh, you can plug them in and they'll hold okay kind of stick out a little bit but they work overall uh, these hold in a little bit better but they're also a little bit trickier to jam in there. Come on. It's because of the ball joint for the handle. So yeah, that can that can get wedged in there. And then you can have the <laughs> that looks terrible because of this handle. But you can just imagine having that on both sides. Like you could have two double barreled guns in the front. Which aren't bad. You could also plug them in in the back if you wanted. And you can do the same thing with the large cannons, where if you wanted to, you could have two in the front. Kind of raise this up so you can see. You can have like two pegged in the front. You could have two pegged in the back. You have options, but they are limited. As far as the other vehicles go, it's not a whole lot you can do either. Rust Dust uh, just has the peg right here, which kind of works for some of the weapons, but not all. Like, if you plug in a gun there, it works okay because there's just enough clearance underneath there that she won't, uh, you know, the gun won't rub against the ground, but then the bike is just going to go to one side and it's not going to roll very well and forget about attaching these to rust dust. With either of the twins, 
you don't have many options with the giant guns. You can attach them to the bottom. Right here. So you can, and these are actually kind of tight, but you can like wedge them in there, but then it's just, you know, one gun per helicopter, and that's not ideal. And you can kind of peg them in the hands, but there's just not quite enough clearance right here, so you end up having to like unpeg the arm slightly. So you can like unpeg the arm and then attach the cannon and then sort of kind of peg it back in and then it like it, it's okay but it's not quite right doesn't you know it looks a little goofy so options are limited uh, the only other thing I found that kind of works with the helicopters is if you combine the the uh, cannons back into a foot which, if you're unfamiliar with transformation, transformation is very easy. You just fold in the handle, pop out this little bit here, and then swing all this around. And there you have half of a foot. And then you just do the same with the other side. You flip in the handle, pop this out, swing the whole thing around. And now one side of the foot actually has this extra peg which you want to swing out of the way to make sure you can get that in there. Then you just sandwich everything back together. And pop it in. And now the other thing that I've found with the helicopters is if you have it in, if you have the cannons combined in foot mode, you can actually use this peg and attach it to the bottom there and use it like a stand or something like that. And it's, it's all right. But again, limited. So... It is kind of unfortunate that there aren't many good options as far as uh, storage in vehicle mode goes. Could be better, but could be worse. And now when it comes to jump stream and dust up, they're both very similar in that they've got the pegs on top or ports on top and in the back. So you can attach a cannon to the top and it looks okay a little silly but it works but again you run into the same problem with the twins where you've got half of a foot on either on either vehicle and you can plug in the smaller handguns up there and it works in either version here's the one that uses the thumb and it kind of yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit shallow on jump stream, so it doesn't work that well. Might work a little bit better on dust up. Let's see. We use the thumb. This is the one with the thumb for a handle. Yeah, it holds in a little bit. Okay, it holds in very slightly, almost imperceptibly better on dust up. But again, that one works. And you can also do the giant cannon which looks absurd. So, yeah, vehicle storage options for these accessories are unfortunately limited. But, you know, you work with what you got. Plus, I mean, who really is going to display their combiners in this mode for very long? Not many people. So, yeah, moving on. We're going to go check out individual robot modes, and I think, I think you're going to, yeah, Works out a lot better in robot mode. All right, just to get this out of the way, here we have Rust Dust, and these are basically the only two options you've got with her. Either put one of the handguns in there or put one of the giant arms, one of the giant cannons in there, and the ball joints in her wrist or her elbows are not even... They're not even strong enough to keep the handgun up, so yeah. Rust Dust is not really a good option for using any of these weapons. Not that that's a big shock. And now the twins, you pretty much have the same choices as you do with Rust Dust, where it's gun in either hand. That's about all you got. Um, here we have the using the regular gun peg. Here we have using the thumb for a handle. Either one works. 
And with the twins, at least, the elbow and shoulder joints are very nice and tight so that they can actually hold the cannons without things flopping around, which is awesome. But yeah, overall, you know, it's a little bit limited in what you can actually store, but uh, yeah, they can use either gun just fine. Or you can do, like, gun and sword. Or if you want, there's also the, uh, the holster trick where there's that little peg right in there. So you could just attach the, uh, attach, attach, there. Yeah. So you could actually have them wielding a bunch of guns and having a sword holstered there. So that's also an option. All right. On to the next one. And now with uh, jump stream and dust up, ran into an interesting, uh, in interesting issue worth pointing out. Now, jump stream, like the twins, can hold either weapon just fine without any floppiness. Unfortunately, the spot on her back, just because of the way that all this is shaped, you can't fit any of the big cannons in there easily. The uh, the smaller gun using the thumb as a handle does actually fit in there, and the other one fits as well. So you could potentially have her with like a little gun antenna storage thing in the back there, which is an option. Dust up is surprisingly limited. It's strange. Her hands, her hands don't hold the regular peg very well. If you use the thumb for a handle, everything is fine. But yeah, the regular flip down peg, the one that uh, has been kind of the common, uh, I'll deal with that later. The uh, yeah, this regular peg does not dust up does not hold it well at all. However, it can peg into her shoulder. Similarly, the big cannon can also peg into her shoulder if you want to do that, and then also she can hold that fairly regularly. Now, because of the way that this lip on her arm is, just because of the way the toy is designed, putting the large cannons in her hand with the, uh, the silver bit facing inward or this large part facing out is a, is a lot more difficult because, as you can see, it goes a little bit past that lip. So if you try to angle it the other way, like if I put this in her right hand instead of her left, then it wouldn't quite hold as well because she wouldn't be able to hold as much of that peg as she is right now. Nothing, you know, significantly nasty or anything like that, but just a pain in the... Stop it. There. It's just a little bit of a pain is all. But still, you've got options. You could, if you wanted to, you could completely load dust up with all the big ordnance if you wanted to. All right, one more left. Pyromagna, I think, is the best candidate when it comes to hanging on to the large laser cannons. Um, as you can see, you can store the handguns in her back, which they just peg into the sides of the ladder here. Either one works, whether you're using the thumb handle or the regular handle. So those work. She also has a similar issue to dust up when it comes to holding the cannons, where you want to have this bit, the silver bit, facing out, because if you see, like, there's this huge lip going around her hand, and that's just going to bang against the darker plastic if you put it the other way around. So she has to hold them this way if you put them in her hands. But you can also attach the giant cannons to her back, which I actually think looks really good. And this is something I forgot to point this out earlier. If you notice, there are these clear plastic discs here. I added those myself just for some extra grip. So those don't come on these, uh, on these upgrade parts. But anyway, you can peg this in here and it's difficult to do because it's a pretty tight fit but it is doable come on there we go okay that's 
one. And Whoop. easy there. And here is two. Come on. Ah. Why? Why? Okay. Come on. Come on. Get in there. There we go. Yeah. All right. And so this, I actually think, looks pretty great. Just move the camera there a bit. You can see Pyromagna with the cannons on her back is a pretty cool look, I think. I am, I am okay with that. <laughs> Whether or not you wanted to be using the, the giant cannons in both hands, that's up to you, but it works. I think it works pretty well. And, of course, she can hold the handguns. But you kind of run into the same issues, again, with Dust Up, where you just want to be careful of this lip. So, put that in. You can see that holds okay from that angle, although it's a little bit loose. And the thumb, in this case, she holds it pretty well, but it's like not as quite as tight. I think there's a little bit of back and forth in there, but yeah. Overall, it works. But I definitely dig the uh, having the cannons on her back. That is a great look. All right. Almost done. And here we have the entire team loaded up with everything. Now, this is just how I like to do it. You know, you can do it in a number of different ways, but this is to show you that you can, in fact, have the combination of their original weapons, like Pyromagna's giant pickaxe thing, and the swords with the twins, and Dust-Up's bow thing, and so on. You can have all that there with these extra uh, bits. And again, this is all my personal thing. I like to give, you know, have one of the twins with the swords, and have the other one with the giant cannons because their arms can actually hold them. <laughs> and yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. Honestly, I, I uh, pull this back a little bit. I actually really like the way that looks. I think that uh, as a, an accessory set, I think this actually works pretty well. I think the colors, while they're a little bit darker than the regular weapons, they're enough, they're close enough, I think, to the gray that everything is, you know, fits pretty well. And the silver, pretty much from what I can see is spot on to the the silver for the rest of the paint details here so it, it, it all kind of integrates I think really well plus I just think it looks cool all right so now on to the main event and here we have Victorian ever so just about in the frame because combiners are big but yeah, I mean, as you can see, we've got the larger feet, larger, much more articulated hands, which we'll see up close in a minute. But just to give you an overall sense of how all this looks together. For back just a tiny bit more. Okay. So, yeah. Um, now, I'm going to show her in her other limb configuration as well. Just wanted to get this one out of the way because I think it's the weakest. Which I know goes against what I said in the previous video, but I'll get into that later. My fan moding has changed my opinion, basically. But anyway, I think this looks fine. And honestly, the larger, the thicker legs that you get from the cars kind of going down into the larger feet works better for me than the smaller combiner wars feet that she comes with plus i just thought the whole high heels thing was stupid and these feet while not like you know blatantly feminine like they don't need to be because i think the feet and hands aren't necessarily masculine or feminine it's the overall combiner itself that makes that distinction and i think this still works for for an all lady combiner so anyway yeah it's uh it's not bad, and I think the hands and feet actually match up pretty well. They're a little bit darker than the typical Combiner Wars feet and hands, 
but that's really it doesn't really matter because the feet and hands for the combiner feet that she comes with were not quite a match to the rest of the colors in the combiner itself so having that you know color differential isn't a too isn't too big a deal so yeah I, it, it looks all right um there is a tiny bit of fan moding up here in the chest I, I should point out because putting uh, rust dust on the chest the way that is recommended in the instructions is a little crap and it's annoying so yeah i've got her attached the way she should be attached as far as like the toys actually built so there's that that's intentional just, just letting you all know but anyway yeah uh this is a good look i think bring it a little closer here yeah. uh, <laughs> hard to do at arm's length now for the hand the perfect effect upgrade hand actually holds the sword quite well you get a little bit of that wrist movement there and of course you can spin it but uh let me pop that off real quick so i can show you up close a little bit better here you stay so yeah and the fist holds the uh holds the sword quite securely which is a problem that i had with the uh perfect effect hands with superion there's something they did to these newer hands where if you push the sword in all the way there's like a tiny it's like you can barely you can't really even hear it you just feel it you can kind of see it it just kind of clicks ever so slightly and that helps to keep it much more secure so that is much appreciated so she can very much still hold her really awesome sword and yeah she uh she looks pretty good and then of course you can get a little bit more of a look at the feet which are fine you know i think they they do a good job they're pretty wide well articulated uh I think that might be the wrong phrase there, but uh, and then down here you can see this is where I added the little rubber bits because these feet come with like a tiny slip, like a, a not rubber, but like a little pad here that's supposed to help keep them from sliding around too much. But everything back here is still plastic, so by adding these little rubber stops here, that actually has made the feet even more stable. I've done it to all my uh, perfect effect sets now. And that means that Superion, Computron, and now Victorion. I have a lot of combiners ending in on. Anyway, um, they're all nice and stable. I can do like much more dynamic poses and not worry about their feet sliding out from under them. Anyway, that's the uh, basic, one of the basic Victorion arrangements. Move on to the next. And then we have other version of Victoria on this, uh, I believe the box setup with the uh, the twins, helicopters for the legs, and then yeah, everyone else, the cars and the arms and stuff. Now, we'll say just as a just as a not precaution, but just to let everyone know, dust up for whatever reason. Getting that hand into the hand peg for dust up is unnecessarily difficult. I mean, it's doable. It just requires a, a lot more force than getting the pegs in anywhere else. And I don't quite know why. Because the foot pegs fit in just fine. There's not a whole lot of struggling that has to happen there. But I don't know. It, it works. It's just something to be aware of. But yeah, as you can see not a bad look and i actually like the proportions overall for this even better where the feet with the slightly slimmer legs i think work really well and the arms are a bit bulkier but i like these hands with the slightly chunkier arms and yeah it looks it looks good of course personally i like to do a little bit of a just a tiny bit of tweaking i saw a couple of fan mode things that people have done and i kind of picked up on that so one of the things that I will do, which I will show right now, is 
gonna adjust rust dust here. And it's just simple, just taking the legs and unclipping them from the uh, from the arms where they normally sit, and just kind of pushing them back a little bit further. So that they just line up a little bit better along the chest there. So that's one thing. It just kind of cleans up the chest a little bit, in my opinion, which I think looks good. And I probably should have brought her closer to show this. But yeah, there are just some tabs here where, where the legs connect to the arm. And by just disconnecting those and pushing things back a little ways, I think it makes the it kind of cleans up the chest a little bit more. Now, the only other thing that I like to do is adjust these shoulders, where I'll take Jump Stream's front cab section and put that up, bring up the uh, the hood a little bit, and I'm gonna just angle things a little bit more so I can kind of show off the pose that I like to have Victorian on the shelf in because I think it looks pretty cool. Just turn that leg a little bit. Turn her head. All right. Now, coming over to uh, dust up. Totally bend everything around and get the hand lined up do the hip thing and then of course do the same thing with dust up by bringing the shoulder or not the shoulder but bringing that portion of the vehicle forward to create a higher shoulder look and get everything in there yep oh, i have to move the microphone for a second Okay, so yeah, with, you know, with the upgrades, with the very slight fan moding, this looks fantastic. <laughs> I mean, I was never on the fence really about Victorian, but I feel like just those small tweaks and the added, like, the more normal looking feet and hands, I think go a long way to making her look just amazing. I love how simple that fix is with the fan moving with the shoulders where it's like it's such a simple thing but just having that slightly narrower shoulder with the higher you know it looks like basically pauldrons it's it's neat <laughs> it's so simple but it's so cool and yeah just overall I think this is fantastic and if you've got a Victorian and you've been kind of on the fence about whether or not you want to get the perfect effect uh, combiner hands and feet I think it's you can't go wrong with it I think it's a good set that actually works really well with Victorian even though it wasn't designed with her in mind because the feet look acceptable and honestly I think they look much better than the stupid high heels that Hasbro gave us the hands are definitely a little bit bigger but proportionally I think they fit a little bit better I mean maybe you know they could maybe be just a tiny bit smaller, especially with, uh, like, over here, that hand does look a little bit big. But honestly, I just think this looks great. You know, there's the pros far outweigh the cons, and it even is a pretty awesome-looking set when you combine, like, when you just have everything in its gun mode and you've got it spread across all the different individual bots. So, yeah, it's great. If you have a Victorian... I would recommend getting it if you're thinking about it. If you don't have a Victorian, not something to consider. Yeah, you gotta pay a little bit extra to get the upgrade parts, but uh, I don't know. I think it's worth it. I think like she looks like this looks, just looks fantastic on the shelf right next to 
upgraded uh, the upgraded Computron and Superion that I have, as well as Devastator, although he doesn't have the perfect effect set, but yeah. So anyway, there you go. That has been the, our look, my look, a look at Combiner Wars Victorion with the perfect effect PC09 upgrade hands and feet. Again, meant for Bruticus, but actually I think works very well for Victorion. Honestly, I don't think anyone who just came into this blind would even know that this wasn't meant for her. And yeah, great set, great combiner. Everything's great. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye, even when we sometimes need to take extra steps to enhance it to our liking. Art. <laughs>